We're going to introduce two different groups of people today. We're going to introduce our recruits, which we're obviously very excited about. Um, we're also going to um, announce, I guess, a change in title for two of our assistant coaches who um, I think we need to recognize their loyalty. And so we're going to do that today as well. Um, we have three recruits here today, two of which are local and both played at Carnal Newman High School, Marco Grohovac and David McCullough. Uh, we also have Connor Gilmore, who's from Etobicoke and spent a year in the US. Um, we're going to announce as well. That said, we are very excited about what these guys will do for our culture. They're very tough-nosed, they're defensive-oriented guys, they're cerebral, and their competitive level is very high. This starts with Marco, who has uh, been accepted to our kinesiology program. As you know, kinesiology at Mac is not a walk in the park. Marco is a very, very strong student, an outstanding competitor, and on a weekly basis earns respect amongst our team. We have a number of workouts and, and day by day, night by night, Marco is constantly earning respect. Last night he played on our winning team in our scrimmages and he was a huge part. It was three on three. You can't hide in three on three. Marco was a huge part of that. Marco started at Orchard Park, went to Cardinal Newman, has played Blessed Sacrament his whole life. Those of you that know the rep system in Hamilton know the prowess of Blessed Sacrament. Uh, was an officer bronze medal winner uh, two years ago in Windsor. Um, two-time city champion and also a GHAC champion. So he brings a winning pedigree to our program and in order to win, you have to have a competitive element. I mean, Amos has gone on record saying he doesn't bring people to this program, you know, just to just be practice bodies. He expects that, you know, you can, you can play. Do you like that sort of confidence in your game? Yeah, uh, Amos is definitely a great coach. Uh, uh, I like his confidence in me. I, I just, I'm just ready to come here and compete earn the respects of the players and the coaches and just get a spot on the team and be ready to, to contribute in any way I can. I mean for someone who hasn't maybe seen you play, how would you characterize the way you play? The way I play, uh, I'm very defensive minded. Uh, I know all the defensive principles, rotations, everything. I'm mainly a shooter. I can knock it down definitely. I can heat up. Secondly, I want to introduce Connor Gilmore. Connor is from Etobicoke, played at Martin Grove High School, um, played on our U15 provincial team, played on our U17 provincial team, played on the Northern Kings team this year that won OBAs. In fact, beat a couple other guys that were sitting up here in the final, um, including a coach. Connor is what we're viewing as the next Taylor Black, the next sort of multi-skilled, big, that can put it on the floor, can shoot it, can rebound, can pass. He's a very, very dynamic player and not common in the CIS. He spent a year at Cushing Academy, which is in the Boston area, and has decided to come back in large part because what we were able to provide for him academically, as well as athletically, was exactly what he wanted. He looked at a number of schools in the US and a number of schools in Canada and made his choice to come to McMaster. Couldn't be more pleased with Connor. We're expecting him to push guys for minutes right away. Anyone that knows me recognizes that I like to win to the point that I'll put guys in positions to do that and if I feel a player first year, second year, third year beyond helps us do that, that doesn't matter to me. I view Connor as one of those players that's gonna contribute immediately. His size, strength and edge that he brings really is gonna complement our team well. All right, so uh, I mean, Connor, you first. Uh, I mean, we talked about it over the summer, but where do you see fitting your, yourself fitting in from day one here at McMaster? Well, I think I can be a big minute guy my first year. I mean, we compete in practice, and I definitely think I'm in the mix with all the b best players on the team, and I just wanna do whatever I can to contribute to help the team win, Then I think I can do that. Yeah. I mean, uh, Amos is mentioning guys like, you know, Taylor Black, obviously. Um, have you been working with him or, or learning under him so far? Uh, yeah, me and Taylor have been very close ever since I committed. I'm actually staying at his house for the month and we're just really meshing and becoming good friends and I just want to learn everything I can from him since he he knows the ropes yeah, and he knows them. everything that there is to know about being a stretch four in the CIS and being a really good stretch four in the CIS, so I'm just trying to take it all in. I mean, it's early days yet, but what's your initial impression here on campus? You liking this place so far? Yeah, I love McMaster so far. I mean, that's one of the reasons I chose it. I was really choosing between here and U Ottawa, and the reason I chose McMaster was the campus feel, just the environment, how welcoming everyone is, and I just really liked it from day one. Uh, one of our goals here at McMaster, and I'm sure it's the goal for most CIS schools, is to make sure that you don't let your best players leave your city. And every year I think we've done a very good job of keeping our best local talent here at Mac um, and stretching that locality to Burlington Oakville. We've been able to get year after year what we think is the best player in town 
or in the area to come to our school, and this year is no different. David McCullough was recruited by a number of schools for a number of reasons. Um, not only is he an excellent student, but he's very, very mature for his age, which makes him the ultimate competitor. Put him in situations, in system, he makes great decisions, great reads, we already see that here. He's defensive focused, he's extremely tough, extremely competitive, humble, and a great teammate. I mean, for someone who's maybe never seen you play, for the Marauder fan who maybe wants to step in from day one, what can they expect from you? What do you how do you play? Uh, I think I'm a smart, smart player, high basketball IQ, play defense. That's my main, main goal is to stop my man, to help the team win. Uh, love passing the ball, distributing, getting guys open looks, uh, getting the big man open looks. I can score the ball a bit, but I look more, more uh, to pass the ball. And that's, that's basically what my game's like. Sure. I mean, this program had some great success this past year. Do you look forward to coming into that and maybe and building on that a little? Yeah, that's one of the another key factor that made me come to Mac is that they already have a really good team. And I know that in the future, only losing one guy in Taylor Black next year, only lost one guy from, from the last year. So in the next few years, we're still going to be very good. We're going to be competing with the best Carlton, Ottawa. And yeah, I'm just really excited. I have two gentlemen here that are on this coaching staff that need to be recognized for their loyalty and dedication to this basketball program. Justin Gunner and Rod Bynum are the only two coaches that stayed on from the past coach to now because they're dedicated to the success of this team, this program, at this university. I can't say enough about what they mean to me personally in my life, but also professionally and what we do here on a daily basis. And I think it, it's really important when we have the opportunity to recognize these two in a different way. Um, Justin Gunner will now be named the Associate Head Coach of McMaster University, which I think is a title he richly deserves. Um, it means a number of things. It, it's different in different programs, but for us, I want people to realize how much we rely on him on a day-to-day -day basis, but in games in particular. If you've come to a McMaster basketball game, you have regularly seen me throw Coach Gunner the marker and let him take a timeout. When we talk about strategic decision making, he is really the guy that I'm leaning on in games to make those tough decisions because he's been there as a player, he knows me as a coach. I mean, when did Amos come to you with this whole thing and, and how did you respond? Uh, I mean, yeah, we've been talking about it for a little while, a couple months now, and uh, I mean, I've, I was all in. I, I thought it was a great idea. Um, and, you know, as long as he's okay with it, uh, you know, I think it's it's great. And um, yeah, no, that, it, it was, I was happy to that he asked and it, you know, means that our working relationship's great and we've been, you know, working towards something here and I think we're getting closer. I think ultimately the goal is to win a national championship here and, and if, you know, if we keep working towards that, and you know, keep working hard, we can get there eventually. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's been great. Yeah. As you say, I mean, it doesn't change your day-to-day -day operations much, but it does add another, you know, line to the resume as a coach. Is that an important part of it as well? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it's nice to have, but I don't coach because of it, like the resume or anything. Like that. I coach because I love the kids. I love being here. I love McMaster. Um, I got a good re relationship with Coach Bynum and Amos and stuff, and that's why I coach. I mean, I just love coaching. I love being around the the student athletes. I love. I love coaching this age, whether it's you know the U19 team that I coach during the spring or at McMaster. It's it's such a good age. You get to see them over five years grow and mature into adults and mm -hmm. what they go on in the real world. So that's the most important thing to me. Resume and all that stuff's definitely not nothing that I really concern myself with as I'm as I'm going forward. So Rod Bynum has been with this program for 22 years. He was my assistant coach years and years and years ago. 94. He was my assistant coach way back then. And in the meantime, he has done everything possible to make this program a success behind the scenes. The title that we figured out last year, and we've been calling him sort of informally as general manager, and I think it's the best one for him. Whether it's coordinating travel with our travel coordinator, Nicole Grossell, or planning meals, or running camp, or day-to-day -day operations like something like today, Coach Bynum is the one that lets the players play and the coach is coach. You know, how much does this change your day-to-day -day, day -day -day role? Uh, really not much. I've always tried to do this over the last four or five years with Coach Conley and just make sure that he's looked after. That all he has to do is coach. And with the players, I want to make sure that academically, that they're the student athletes first. Mm -hmm. And then with our coaching staff, just make sure they have everything they need. And as players have everything they need with our administrative staff, our trainers, managers, whatever they need, I just make sure it's looked after. And 
me the title is great, and I appreciate that, but let's just make sure that behind the scenes things are done and completed, and then our program speaks for itself. You spoke about it in your stand-up, but I mean, you don't bring anyone into this program just to be a practice body. You expect all these guys to contribute, don't you? I think the way we recruit is, is I would say, different from most programs, but not all. Um, we're not a quantity type recruiting style or recruiting program. What we try to do is identify people that we think can contribute right away. We think are good fits for our family and are going to push the level of competition. And so rather than recruit 25 players and hope that five come, we will identify three or four kids and go after them really hard. And so that has proven to work for us here. Obviously the risk in that is if you don't get them, there can be a void. Uh, we've managed to avoid that. Um, I think one of the things we do very well is recruit. And part of the reason is that these guys know they're coming to contribute, not coming to watch. And tell me a little bit about this, you know, this decision to, to make new titles for uh, Justin and, and Rod. I mean, obviously it doesn't change the day-to-day -day operations very much. What was the significance in your, in your mind? You know, I don't think it changes anything day-to-day. -day. I think what it does is publicly acknowledge to people that richly deserve that. I think as assistant coaches in Canada, there's very little that, or as a coach, there's very little that I can do in Canada to designate, recognize people for their loyalty and dedication, and this is one move that we have. And so I jumped at the opportunity for both of them. Um, they've been selfless and dedicated and loyal and helped so much in the transition of this program from Coach Razzo's tenure to mine. Um, for me to do this today is, is honestly, it probably pales in comparison to what they actually deserve, uh, but it's something that we can do. I think those two are, they deserve, I mean, public recognition is always a tough thing. Mm. If there's a value in it, they deserve it. And so I think it's smart for us to do that for them. And, and they, they're critical people in my life, both personally and professionally. I'm happy to do that for them.